Here it is. First days of spring, and I know you're thinking of boating season. For those of you looking for an awesome trailerable cruiser, come with me for a walk around tour on Keniana, a 1997 Sea Ray 270 Sundancer. She's loaded with features, sitting on a triple axle trailer. She has a full enclosure, windless generator, air conditioning, electronics. She's set up for family fun and fishing with the outriggers, rocket launchers, and bait tank setup. So come with me for a quick walkthrough tour on Keniana here at South Mountain Yachts. Here we are starting off forward starboard on this 1997 270 Sea Ray Sundancer here at South Mountain Yachts. We see she sits on a heavy duty painted triple axle trailer so you can bring her anywhere you care to. Coming down along the side, we see the extended bow pulpit spotlight and then as we move down along the side we see the bottom paint is could use a little bit of touch up in a few spots there's no dents or dings in the hull she's in excellent condition one of the questions people always ask is what about the tires well we've got buddy bearings on the wheels and then the tires appear to be in good condition there is a little bit of glazing on that forward uh, i recommend it being inspected also this gives us a nice view of that radar arch you see we've got it set up with additional rocket launchers nighttime spreader light and outriggers there also we have her opened up but there is a full camper back enclosure and that eyes and glass is nice and clear and clean almost looks new i don't know the age of it though here we are coming to the transom we've got our trim tabs and we see there is a little bit of burn on that bottom paint it needs to be corrected uh, just add more another zinc and fresh in the bottom paint up. We've got our boarding ladder right there, our Bravo 3 drive, and again, freshen up that bottom paint, drive paint on that, and she'll be good to go. We've got our Weaver snap davit set up right there, should you want to add a dinghy, and we've got our struts there for additional support. Coming down along the port side, and again, we see some high spots on the bottom paint. Nothing a gallon wouldn't cure. Let's focus in on that Sea Ray badge right there. And yet another view of Keniana. From here, let's go aboard. Here we are aboard Keniana, getting ready to enter the cockpit through this port side door. Notice we have a hot and cold shower to rinse off to keep the interior neat and clean. Immediately to the right on our starboard side, we have this transom bench seat, which is actually removable for when you want to fish and have more cockpit space. We've got that cocktail table, which actually comes with a lower leg, so you can lower that down and have this whole area become a nice sun pad. We've got that double wide seat there, and there is storage up underneath. Now, circling the port, we have what I call our LLI feature. It's our port side lounger seat. That window is to allow light and air, into that mid cabin. Notice we've got Pioneer speakers right there for a nice sound system. Access to the bow is down this walkway here. We've got grab rails and then with this stainless steel radar arch right here 
We've got rod holders. We've got our nighttime spreader light and our radar dome right up on there. Coming back down, note we've got the double bimini up, and as you saw in a few of the other pictures, there's a full enclosure for this vessel. Moving forward, up one step, we have a double wide helm seat right there. The vinyl on this boat is in excellent condition, nice and clean, no rips, no tears. She's been very well loved and taken care of. Here at the helm, we've got that classic Sea Ray wooden steering wheel right there. It's power steering and the wheel tilts for a more comfortable position for the drive. Down below, we've got our VHF radio, searchlight control, windless control also. As we move up a little bit all of our switches are right here within line of sight easy to operate they're all nice and clean the owner has substituted the hard plastic so they're nice and fresh we've got our furuno radar unit right there and additional space should you want to add more electronics there all of our gauges are neat and clean. The lenses are nice and clear. Our hour meter is showing about 940 hours. We've got our compass and a great line of sight for the operator. This is going to give us a view of the bow. Great space there, should you want, you can add a nice deck pad to lounge out at. Circling around, one more overview of the seating and the cockpit right there. Engine access is through those deck hatches, collapse the seat, move the table, and you can view the engine and all the components down below. We enter the cabin through this center line sliding door and down a few steps. Immediately to port, we've got our galley with the Corian countertop, formed in basin, microwave, single burner, alcohol electric stove, and then down below we have our refrigerator. A nice sea rail to hold on to and some cabinet storage. The conscientious owner has his fire extinguisher nice and handy. And then right behind here, we have our power panel. Our generator start and our air conditioning control right there. We've got a Pioneer stereo. For our entertainment. Here at the entryway we have over six feet of headroom. Sea Ray did an excellent job during this vintage. We've got a fully lined upgraded vinyl interior. As we look forward we have our center v-berth right there. The table is removable and it becomes a sleeping area. You can even see a bit of the filler board right there. We've got a DVD player and TV. Off in the corner, our carbon monoxide detector. And we've got dual hatches for light and air in here. Now, as we circle around, We've got a little bit of storage, our air conditioning heat register right there, thermostat. Got a little bit of storage, hanging locker right here. 
And as we move aft, we've got, yep, our head, which is fully lined fiberglass, has the vacuum flush head, macerator discharge, power vent, and it's just easy to care for, easy to clean. The interior of the cabin, if you notice, we've got carpet runners on here. The carpet underneath is nice and clean. And then moving aft, we've got a double wide full beam berth there, which can be used for sleeping or, as you can see, more storage. We have a little vanity here for stuff and gear. And we can also add a curtain right here for privacy. Keening Anna is neat, clean, odor free, very well cared for, sits on a triple axle painted trailer, ready to go in the water or anywhere your heart desires. Viewer today, own this Sea Ray tomorrow at South Mountain Yachts.